Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. It's been a while since I've made one of these intros where I'm like cooking. Uh, I'm back on the diet. My leg and back are feeling a little bit better. I'm not ready to, you know, do any major exercises right now to, you know, try to get the last 10 pounds that we need off. But the fact that we lost our first 10 pounds, I'm super excited for that. Uh, for those who don't know who are new here, the original, like, thing about starting the Venom blog was that I connected with Eddie Brock on a couple personal levels and when I saw Tom Hardy the first video we made was us reacting to him working out to playing Venom. So if you haven't seen that episode definitely go back and watch it. Uh, but in that episode I explained that I want to get back into working out and I wanted to try to lose 20 pounds between you know the, the first video we made which was on November 5th of last year so just under a year uh, before the movie coming out and I wanted to lose 20 pounds in that year and we're down 10 uh, and I've been fighting it like I go from like 198 to 201 and I've been bouncing back and forth uh, basically because of how I've been eating uh, so I'm trying to get it down I'm trying to go lower than 198 so that's what I'm doing today I'm cooking right here I'll actually lift this up I'm making a uh, chicken with some uh, veggies I have uh, mushrooms in there and I have onions and uh, that's what I'm cooking today I'm gonna have some of that for lunch and then any leftovers I'll bring to work with me so that's what I'm doing here uh, we're definitely going to get into some Venom stuff, so without further ado, let's jump right in. Alright, now that I'm fed and I ate my meal, let's take a look at IMDb again. Actually, Venom Gaming, another shout out to him, he wrote me about this and said, hey, the, uh, there was something updated on the, on the IMDb, which he was right. There was a new cast member added, uh, which I did see, but I didn't look into it. Uh, I didn't have time. I was at work earlier. And luckily he did, and he looked into it and said, hey, someone else, a third person now, has been cast under the name Donna Diego. And I am so confused by this. Already having two actresses being cast as Donna Diego uh, already was making me go, huh, what? One of them's got to be a typo. Uh, someone mentioned maybe, you know, Donna, D the, one of the actresses actually playing Agony, like one of the other symbiotes. Um, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they keep recasting this role, um, if they're doing reshoots or anything like that. Um, I have no idea <laughs> what's going on. Uh, first, we had Michelle Lee, who is a stunt woman, and she's awesome, badass lady. And uh, she was cast as Donna Diego. And Donna Diego, for those who don't know, is the alternate uh, identity of uh, of the character Scream. So the figure we saw from Toy Fair, uh, the female symbiote with the red and yellow and stuff, uh, she's from the Lethal Protector comic book. Uh, I had a feeling that maybe if they did do other symbiotes in this movie, they would probably use Scream, because even though she dies in the comics pretty quickly compared to the other uh, of the five symbiotes, I think she's the first and only one to die um, and then the other ones get used and put on different people like later on to make like a special forces team um, but I, I I don't know like I I, I but I she's still like a favorite like most people remember her more than Lasher and Agony and, and Phage and all the rest so uh, so Donna Diego like I saw that I was like okay they got Donna Diego in this movie but they didn't have her listed as Scream just Donna Diego so I was like okay maybe they're just setting her up uh, or just using the character name making her like a special forces unit member especially with Michelle Leake playing her I thought okay that's what we got then they announced Sailor LaRoque uh, and she is playing Donna Diego uh, but listed as Donna Diego slash Scream so then I thought okay well is she playing both or is she just like one or the other? Is she Donna Diego and then, or or is she just Scream or like, then I thought, okay, maybe they're just, it's the typo and they'll, they'll fix it eventually. Because if you go back and watch like episode 30 or 31 or something of our show, that's how long ago we talked about this. It was like six weeks ago or something now. And, uh, and we were like, all right, there's two people cast as Scream. What does that mean? And we were asking people. And again, if you go to Michelle Lee's uh, Instagram page, you can look back at um, November of last year and you'll see she's getting leg molds done and she says something like you know all in a day's work or something like that and we don't know like she does video games she does movies tv shows she, that leg you know the leg casting could have been for anything you know some people were speculating that it could have been for the venom movie the shooting time was about right when she was there like she could have been in atlanta and that could have been on set or behind the scenes where they were you know doing casts of her body um and maybe sailor laroque is going to be in the screen costume although i, I don't know sailor doesn't seem to have a a martial arts or training background on the level of Michelle's so uh, that's why I'm kind of confused if she's playing uh, screen the screen part um, although you know I don't know she kind of looks she's got like blonde dirty blonde hair and I don't know they both look like awesome women they both look like they could play the part I just don't know if, if they're both playing the part or not so to throw another wrinkle into it now we have Vicky Ng 
And uh, Vicky Ng here is listed as Donna Diego, also, slash old woman. Um, and now I'm like, uh, my mind's going a million different places. I'm like, they can't all be playing Donna Diego. First of all, they're all three of different ethnic backgrounds. Um, so that would be really interesting. Uh, I kind of made a theory about that with Cable before they announced who was playing Cable in the Deadpool movie. I was like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if every scene it was a different actor? Because every time... You know, he went back in time. Deadpool was screwing up the timeline. So one time Cable would be Brad Pitt. And the next time it would be Josh Brolin. And the next time it would be uh, Stephen Lang. I was like, that would be a funny running gag for the movie. Um, obviously, they're not doing that with this. But I'm just perplexed by this. Um, the only thing I could think of is that maybe she's in... She playing Donna Diego as an old woman. Now, and the, hear, hear me out for a second. Uh, in the comic books, of, you know, of... Um, the Planet of the Symbiotes, which is this movie's based some of off that and off of Lethal Protector, but in Planet of the Symbiotes, which Scream was not in, by the way, uh, but they did reveal something about the symbiotes in that storyline, which is that the symbiotes, like the other symbiotes, not just not Venom, uh, but the other symbiotes, they uh, they feed off of like the people they're attached to. Now we found out this was the case in Venoms also, like Eddie Brock had cancer in the comics at one point later on. A lot of people think he's always had cancer. That was something that was added later on after the 90s, uh, the cancer thing. Uh, and so that's why I don't think he has cancer in the movie. When they was like, oh, he's getting an MRI. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's not for cancer, although it could be. I don't know, I, but I don't I don't know. I don't think it is. Uh, I think he just, he just feels sick and he's going to get checked out. And then when they do the scan on him, it irritates the radiation. Or not the radiation, I'm sorry, there's no radiation MRIs, but the radio waves irritate the symbiote, cause him to scream, it takes over, blows up the MRI machine, you know, whatever, and then it reverses the magnets and the whole building, all the computers get blown away. I'm thinking that's all one sequence. Um, and I don't think the cancer thing is going to play a part. But then again, who knows? Uh, because I just think that's too close to Deadpool at this point, And you don't want to have, like, Eddie Brock as, like, this, oh, I got cancer and I'm pushing away the woman I love and I'm, I'm separating myself from the world and then I get turned into a, a superhero monster thing. It's like, eh, they already did that with Deadpool. So I hope they don't do that. Um, but back on screen here... If you remember, the symbiotes and plant the symbiotes, they drain their humans. So I'm thinking, oh, what if they the suit goes on, you know, Michelle Lee or Sailor LaRoque or whatever, and uh, and then at the end of the movie, uh, when they burn the symbiote off of her or something, if there's just an old woman laying there, and they're like, holy crap, this thing was feeding off of her. It's taken her youth. It's taken her everything. And you just have, like, you know, someone in old woman makeup. Because Vicky Ng isn't, isn't an old lady either. So uh, so she would probably have to put prosthetics on to be an old woman, I, I would think. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know about this. But I told you guys if there would be an update about the Donna Diego thing, we would make another video on it. Because I, I know a lot of newcomers are like, hey, have you checked IMDb? They, they listed this and this. It's like, yeah, we've made Mrs. Man Freddy videos. We've made everything on here. The, Dr. Emerson, we've theorized who everyone is. Uh, but uh, yeah, but not everyone on here is uh, a comic book character. A lot of these people are made up for the movie. And in our next video, actually, I'm going to record it right after this. I have some interesting things about this IMDb. We're going to go through and look at some people that are listed on here and figure out locations that might be in the movie that we don't know about yet. So uh, we'll talk about that in the next video. But for now, I just wanted to bring this to your attention since Venom Gaming told me about it. So Venom Gaming, thank you so much for this. Everyone out there, what do you think about this Donna Diego old woman thing? Um, is she playing Donna Diego and an old woman? Is she just an old woman? And they I mean, who knows? Is she Donna Diego Sr. and there's Donna Diego Jr. Uh, like, <laughs> the, or the second? Like, I don't know. There's, or is it just wrong? I mean, it could just be misinformation. A lot of times these people get cast for things. They have their casting agents get things mixed up. Uh, IMDb gets, you know, could be edited by anybody, you know, who has like a pro account. So there's a lot of possibilities. But I still wanted to know what you guys think. I wanted to at least bring the information to you guys. Uh, either way, it's, I think it seems clear we're going to get Scream or Donna Diego in this movie. So I'm excited for that. I just want to know which of these women is playing the character or how all three of them are playing the character. So let me know what you guys are theorizing down below, and uh, we'll make another video next about uh, something else related to IMDb. So I'll see you over there. Thanks so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.